Hi, I'm Bobby, and I'm going to show you an example of upgrading from a GlassFish V2.1 uh, cluster profile to GlassFish 3.1. Uh, right now what I have is GlassFish 2.1 running. Uh, I've got a cluster uh, running locally here with two instances that are both up. So let's uh, stop everything. I'm going to stop the node agent, which will stop the cluster and the instances running inside the cluster, and also stop the DAS. I'll pause while this happens. All right, now that everything is stopped, we can um, actually check just to make sure that we have no more Java processes running, and, and we're all set there. So now I'm going to move into my GlassFish 3.1 installation, and we will start the upgrade tool. Uh, you don't need to give it any other command line options, but if you give it the source here, it's just a little easier than, um, than browsing through it afterwards. It's just a little faster. And domain one is what we're going to be upgrading. Okay, now that we see the uh, the upgrade tool is up, uh, it fills in the target for us automatically. And here is my GlassFish 3 domains directory. Uh, because I gave it the dash s flag when I started it, uh, I pointed it to this uh, domain that we're going to do. Otherwise, you can click the browse button to find it. I have not changed the master password for my v2 domain, so I don't need to enter anything here, and we'll click next. The, the first thing you'll see if you're running this um, without having changed your v th your 3.1 installation is you already have a domain1 directory in here, so we'll let it rename it for us. It will rename it domain1.original. If there's already a domain1.original, then it becomes domain1.original.0.1.2 for as long as you'd like to do that. So after it uh, copies over that domain one to the, the new domains directory, then it starts actually performing the upgrade. Uh, we can see in the window here that what it does is it runs asadmin start domain with the upgrade flag. Uh, the GlassFish server itself performs the upgrade, not the tool. This tool is here to, uh, to help. So while this is running, you can see it shows the asadmin uh, command output. Uh, anything you would have seen in the command line from asadmin gets sent here, and everything that's in here gets sent to the upgrade log as well. So after an upgrade, you may want to check the upgrade log as well as the server log to see if there were any errors. Uh, I can scroll down through here. If there were any errors in the server log, then there should be a message here telling you that, uh, a, that a problem was detected and you should look at the upgrade log just to, uh, to make sure. So our upgrade is finished. We can exit the tool. And we can see now what, what's done. If you want, you can delete this domain1.original directory if you want, or move it somewhere else. Uh, that was the original domain you had with GlassFish 3.1. So let's start up the DAS. And I'll pause just for a second while this starts. So the DAS has now started. I'm going to just clear the screen. All of the cluster information is stored inside the DAS. It's stored inside domain.xml. So after the upgrade, uh, the DAS thinks that the instances still exist, but they're just not running yet. And what we need to do now is recreate the instances so that uh, we can start them up, and then we will have finished uh, the upgrade of, uh, of a complete cluster. To recreate the instances, we use the asadmin create local instance command. Uh, they were local to begin with, that's why I'm using this. You need to tell it which node to use, and in this case, you use the same name that you used for the node agent before. Uh, the cluster, of course, is the, um, the same cluster that it was in before. Whoops, I have a typo here. And we'll do instance one, and then instance two. Once the instances have been created, uh, you can see that up at the GlassFish level, a uh, nodes directory has now been created, and it has a node with the same name as the node agent from before. Uh, this will match what's in domain.xml that was brought over from the 2.1 server, and so the DES is going to be able to find the instances now when it needs to. There is one other step that we need to perform now. Uh, you can see, there we go. Uh, currently, the instances just have this config directory. We need to copy over the IMQ directory from the old instances to this new one. 
this is a, a manual step because the per instance information, the JMS information, is stored here. So I'm going to copy from the original node agents, instance one, IMQ, over to my new directory to instance one. And we'll do it again for instance two. After this, we can just start up the cluster. This will start up instance one and instance two, and I'll pause again while they start. When this returns, we can do a list instances to see that the DAS uh, knows about instance one and instance two and thinks they're running. Another good step after setting up any cluster, whether it's through an upgrade or not, is to also run the get health command that uses GMS to check on the state of the instances. Uh, among, besides just telling you if the instances have started, it can also tell you if they failed or were shut down and, and when this happened, that kind of information, and verifies that your cluster is going to work correctly. After this step, uh, we have finished upgrading our 2.1 cluster and we now have a 3.1 cluster with the same instances uh, up and running. For more information, please see the upgrade guide or my blog that's accompanying this screencast about upgrading from a 2.1 clustered domain. Thank you.